Welcome to Iron Man Raid Specialist, featuring Quan Man Raid. The goal of this series is to acquire gear and skills to perfect a Raids Willing Specialist account. Every 75 Raids I can go for 1 of 19 upgrades necessary to build this account, ending at 1500 Soul Raids. Please enjoy the series. Oh, purple! Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, that's sick. Nice. The purples are coming in. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Let's go. At this point, we've earned one, so we get one. No! This game sucks! Oh my god, the poor deck scrolls, man. Jesus Christ, what happened to that price? Oh my goodness! <laughs> Two purples in one day. Yes, dude, no more Shaman Ultras, bro. No more one ply, two ply. Just give me a T boat. Here we go. Badoodle. No way, this game sucks. This game actually sucks. Back to back. Oh no. We have one ply, and now with this extra ply, we have two ply. Oh my god. All right, here we go. Yeah, we got two purples just today, so I don't think we're going to get any purples today. Oh, we're at 1450, so 50 more to go. 50 more chambers to go. I am getting quite comfy with this setup now. Although you can argue that like, oh, oh, whoa, what the heck? Could it be the T-Bow? <laughs> you, you know, if I talk about T-Bow enough times, it will happen, right? Is that is that the, the truth? If I talk about it enough times. Oh, Dragon Claws. If you are enjoying the video thus far, please consider subscribing and supporting the channel. I will be releasing more interesting videos in the coming weeks and for a long time. <laughs> Yo, wait, I got a purple too? Yo, uh, I died with my only a long time ago and I and I had no money, so I never bought it back. Lol, so I, I ended up getting another own pit. So, so there's a purple. Could this be a Tebow? This is crazy. This could be a bullet. Here we go. Oh no! It is a it is a uh, twisted beelet, but it's a twisted buckler. Oh f me, dude! <laughs> twisted me. So there are insane updates that have just come out in old school Runescape recently that will be making huge impacts potentially on this series going forward and also my other accounts going forward, like Mr. Iron Bar, in terms of the grinding there. Now, let's just talk about one of them for now. The one I'm covering in this video is going to be the new Zaya spells that just came out from this quest called A Kingdom Divided. And by doing that quest, you unlock some insanely useful spells. Uh, some of the most notable ones are the summoning spells that let you summon three different types of undead creatures, the magic, range, and melee ones that does constant damage over time against whatever you're fighting. And yeah, it's basically like a Venge spell, but on steroids. And there's also another one that lets you restore spec. But anyways, lots of people have been asking, how good is it? How can I use this for chambers if possible? And is it going to be worth it? And you're going to find out because I'm going to be testing the new summoning spells at chambers because I think there is a lot of potential and I want to find out exactly how good or bad this is and if it's worth using at all for chambers so let's go ahead and do some testing oh, i can dodge those i didn't realize i can just dodge these i should have just brought better gear honestly for this fight there we go i had to go ahead and complete the kingdom divided on this account as well because it's too good to not do i have to go ahead and test some of the thrall spells uh, using the Book of the Dead on some chambers. I'm sure a lot of you guys are probably interested to figure out, like, is it worth bringing? Alright, Thralls uh, don't do anything against Guardians, because I guess Guardians are just set so that you can only hit it with a uh, uh, pickaxe. Alright, okay, Skeleton, it should be damaging it. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, okay, this is cool. Oh, it doesn't attack. Wait, can I attack the crystal too? Oh, wait, it doesn't damage crystals. Wait, does it work? 
Oh, range doesn't work on Tekton? Oh, I think I have to do melee, yeah. Okay, let's do melee and see if it hits the, the Tekton. Wait, does it not hit? Oh, it does, okay, okay, yeah. Tekton's only melee damage, so I have to summon the melee guy. There we go. It's actually hitting it, though. Throw, go! Oh, okay. The throw did some damage. Uh, I can do better by placing it better, but... But okay. Yeah, I was able to hit Tekton through. Through uh, its defense. No problem, so... This seems to be a little glitch where my summon sometimes won't hit the agility minions, even though the distance is close. Aw, oh, man, that sucks. Maybe I can get it to reach, but... I don't know. <laughs> It might be a little too far for it to reach this portal here. Uh, that would have been sick if I could actually hit it. Yeah, I don't think it's good at Vespila though. I can't, it, I can't get this thing to reach. Maybe I can if I go here and then I summon it here. I'll have to try that next uh, next raid. It's kind of dangerous though, because this is not a safe spot. Like the boss will hit you really hard, so I gotta do it really fast and time it really well. So there's only like two combat rooms that I've noticed that the new summoning spells don't work at and that's Vespula on the portals and of course Guardians because you can only use pickaxe moves to hit it. And of course Ulm is definitely a boss that has the most questions with regarding to the summons like which summons to use for the different hands and the head and stuff like that so at first Initially, I thought that it doesn't really matter which I summon because normally the thralls can negate the fence, so it would just hit anywhere from a zero to a three. So on average, it'd be like two damage constantly, you know, every four ticks. However, there are some special creatures, as you can see, like Tecton, where only the melee guy works on it. That yeah, changes how the thralls work, and. Ohm actually has weird coding to the point that you can't just summon any thrall and just hit the hands like no problem. There's actually a difference between the thralls per hand. So when I use the ranger for example, hitting the melee and the mage hand isn't that effective. You land a lot more zeros than you're normally supposed to land. So I quickly realized that if I want to do maximum damage with my summons, I need to use the respective styles for the hand. So if it's melee hand, I need to summon the melee guy if it's the mage hand i gotta summon the mage guy if it's head face which is range only i gotta summon the range guy it'll still hit with the non-respective styles but you will just hit way more zeros and it's very noticeable i noticed it right away on my first run with it man this is gonna be so tight on space like holy shit <laughs> oh my god damn I'm trying to figure out my inventory setup, right, with the uh, thrall spells, but damn, I have to bring two more items on top. So I think I'm, I'm gonna have to ditch the barrel gloves, honestly, just because it only gives me accuracy since I'm using Ferocious for melee, Bracelet for mage, and I can also use this as range too, and I lose no stats, like negative stats. Because yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, ditch probably an extra brew, yeah. I'm gonna have to bring four brews, which I'm okay with because saying is kind of like one to two brews anyways, so. I think doing it this way, I can make it work. Like, so. This this would be, I guess, my setup for a self-scout solo raid setup. With the thralls. And yeah, I guess the goal is to find out and see if it's really helping me a lot. So we'll, uh, we'll have a look. We'll have a look. Wait, doesn't this also give me magic? I think this also gives me magic as well. It does, sick. Oh yeah, okay. This also acts as a mage uh, shield. I, I should all um, use that as well for mage. Really good for Fespila, you know, mage hand, of course. Yeah, uh, sick. Yeah, definitely gonna keep this in mind. I forgot this thing actually has stats. I think it's 10 mage. Oh no, it's six mage, but still really good, worth. This how we do it. So that way I can reach both of these guys. Because this skeleton is not very good. My skeleton, my particular one, aren't good at moving around, so. Need the mods to be uh, near each other. Should be able to reach it. 
There we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Mm hmm. Aw, oh, white light. Okay. Alright, let's see how fast that kill was. Let's see what we got here. Um, we went in at 13, 17, and we finished at 23, 15. So that was a 9, 58 ohm. That's really good. That's actually really good. And the thing is, I didn't even do 73 for the last phase, which is typically more DPS, but... But yeah, okay, okay. We got a sub-10 going there, and it, it felt really easy, honestly. It felt really easy. So, yeah, I didn't really, like, go hard to get that time with the throw, so it's really nice. So it does hit, just, yeah. I, I guess it's better to stick to the actual styles, like... If I was to melee the melee hand and focus on that, I should summon the melee guy. And same for the other styles. If I'm maging or, or ranging, I should summon the appropriate styles because for some reason, the coding, I guess, still treats the styles uh, as uh, a hard resistance. Yeah, okay, so with the major throw on the mage hand, you can see that I'm hitting like every single time. Like, holy crap, look at this. I am not missing once. So yeah, this is this is definitely the proper way to use your your thralls. Summon a mage one on the mage hand, and guarantee hits every time pretty much. Alright, now we summon the melee one and And it should also hit every time. Okay, it's currently hitting uh, practically every time. God dang it, I'm not ready for this. Look at that, melee hand, me okay, actually, come on, hit. Yeah, there we go, the melee guy's hitting pretty often too. Alright, I'm gonna give this another test, hopefully I can spawn it closer, nope. Ah, wait, wait, can I reach it? Come on, it's over there, ah, oh, no, no matter what. Feels bad, man, this guy just can't reach the portal. No matter how close... This is as close as I can make it, you know? I can get it. But it still didn't work. This is still under 10 minutes though. Damn, okay. So yeah, using the thralls properly at home, uh, I, I got another sub 10 minute. And this one, I felt really sloppy. I felt like I didn't do too well mechanically, but I still managed to get a sub 10 minute though. So that's really... Definitely helps a lot, you know? Saves a lot of time, for sure. With the thralls. Only downside is, yeah, having two inventory spots taken up for it, it's rough some, sometimes. What kind of luck is that? Yo, my boy killed it, nice. Uh, my zombie finished off Tekton. <laughs> Save me some blood runes. Pretty tough layout, guys. Um, yeah, there's like no food <laughs> in this layout at all. And I only bring four brews because of this thrall stuff, so let's just see how comfortable we can do, because this is one of those, like, really tough options when you're low on brews. Alright, let's test and see if the thrall's DPS can make enough of a difference that I don't need that extra food comfortably. Okay, so I chose a really hard layout to no prep, just because I really want to put all the things I've learned with the thralls to the test here. Now that I know 4 to 0 is actually even smoother with the thralls, because it makes the head turn more consistently. What can I take advantage of that? Two brews, and of course my trusty saying to uh, pull off a miracle here. Actually, not even two brews. I'm literally 44 HP and almost two brews. And I get flame face to start off, so um, amazing. This is going to be an ultimate test for me here. Let's see if I can make it out alive. Ugh, just trying to get some damage in here. <laughs> Fudge! Oh my god, there's so much clicking. Okay, okay. Okay. After some extensive testing with the Thralls, I will say that the Thralls have a very good potential for speeding up your times. However, this is not something that anybody can just use because the Thralls take up two inventory slots, which could be given for brews instead. So if you're like learning raids, whether it's group raids or solo raids, I don't recommend using thralls because food is probably better but if you're experienced and you know what you're doing thralls are really good i can definitely bring thralls with this setup that i have in my experience and yeah just do pretty much most of the raids that i would normally do and it would speed up 
And also, I think Thralls would be really good for certain types of speedrun layouts like Mudadao, Fespila, Guardians. Just because Venge isn't that good in those layouts, and Thralls will do more damage over time. And yeah, this means I have more opportunities to use it in the future for the speedruns too. Okay, looks like I am fine. I have survived Ohm. Um, I ended up only using two doses of brew because I, I did a lot of four zeros. And um, yeah, Sangstab went ham and healed me like crazy. And the thralls also made it easy for me to do the four zero. So how fast was that fight? Because I I try not to like be too slow with the fight. Damn, it was still a sub ten minute Ohm fight. That's crazy. With only three doses of brew. Two doses of brew, I still managed to get a sub 10 minute ohm. No Tebow, of course, right? Like, crazy. That's actually so crazy. The Sang made a huge difference, the Thralls definitely made a huge difference, like, crazy. Yeah, now I can use the Scythe, when it's impossible to reset at the last 40%. Yeah, with this thing, like, ah, oh, so OP, look at this. This bank, I didn't make it. I spent zero time. On this bank, I just do this. Boom! <laughs> Instant ready to do a very chill thieving room, you know? I'm gonna save some supplies real quick because what I can do is this. I go back and I can just uh, store my normal burst. Because <laughs> why not, you know? It's pretty free. Guaranteed bank. So yeah, I can grab all these extra potions and uh, use it. So easy, man. Oh, wow. That scythe hit at the end, though. That was crazy. Insta killed it. Jeez. Just die, please. Please just die. Oh, I watch this. Watch this technique. <laughs> I've never ever done that before in my life, but... Oh, my God. This is going to be such a tight squeeze. Like, holy crap. I still made that. Yo, I'm gaming right now. God, I hate this poison trail. There's so many. That was pretty nice. I managed to uh, save myself a lot of damage from the poison. Oh, same tech, baby. I think so. Close. So much damage. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Jesus, Mama Dell. Why? Jesus. Heart attack, dude. Heart attack. Oh my god. Please. No way, dude. Are you serious? Why, crab? 